Crocodiles have been around for more than 60 million years. They existed during the time of the dinosaurs and were one of the few four-legged animals over 25 kilograms to survive the mass extinction at the end of the Cretaceous period that wiped out all of the non-avian dinosaurs. Despite the resilience of the Crocodilus genus, they aren't found everywhere on Earth where you might expect to find them. One of those places is the Amazon River. Its habitat seems like the perfect place for many of the 18 species of crocodile, but none of them permanently lives there. Here we ask the question, why are there no crocodiles in the Amazon? The crocodiles were thought to have originated in Africa, where species dispersed into the Americas and Asia. However, there have been arguments more recently of an Australian origin. With such a range of crocodile species living in the world today, they have adapted to a range of environments, many of which appear superficially similar to the Amazon. The smallest extant crocodile species is the Osborne's dwarf crocodile, which grows around 1 meter or 3 feet long, while the largest is the saltwater crocodile, which can grow up to 6 meters or 20 feet. However, except for the enormous and critically endangered Orinoco crocodile, which occasionally ventures into Amazonia, the Amazon River itself is only home to six different species of caiman. These are more closely related to alligators than crocodiles, but just like crocodiles, come in a variety of shapes and sizes, the largest of which competes with a notorious saltwater crocodile for size. This is the black caiman that can reach lengths of up to 6 meters or 20 feet and weigh over 450 kilograms or 1,000 pounds. It is a huge reptile that has been known to take humans from the river. So, is there room for another enormous predator in the Amazonian waterways? It has been suggested by some that with the niche already filled by several species of caiman, crocodiles would be outcompeted in the Amazon. One of the largest crocodiles in the world, and the nearest to the Amazon, is the American crocodile. If any crocodile species is going to make it further into South America, specifically the Amazon, then the American crocodile is the most likely contender. Other crocodiles simply live too far away. Those who migrated out of Africa were able to swim across the Atlantic and make it to the Americas millions of years ago, but that was when the ocean was much smaller than it is today, and Africa and the Americas were closer together. But the American crocodile has certainly ventured out of North America. In fact, it has made it as far south as Peru, Ecuador, Colombia, and Venezuela, but it doesn't inhabit the Amazon. But if caiman live successfully in the Amazon, why don't crocodiles? The answer certainly doesn't seem to have anything to do with food availability. The American crocodile feeds on a huge range of prey from invertebrates, birds, mammals, reptiles, and fish. They have been known to take domestic cattle, and in the Amazon, they certainly wouldn't have trouble finding any food. Small and medium prey for the Amazon-dwelling black caiman include various fish species, some monkeys, birds, and capybaras, but they also take large animals such as cattle, tapirs, peccaries, river dolphins, and even jaguars. These are all animals that the American crocodile could also potentially prey upon if it lived in the Amazon. But the crocodiles haven't been able to migrate to and stay in the Amazon, unlike their caiman counterparts. Fossil evidence suggests that caiman originally came from North America. They lived there during the Cretaceous period 66 million years ago. They migrated southwards into South America as the non-avian dinosaurs became extinct. At the time, the link between North and South America was a series of unconnected islands. They had to overcome many geographical obstacles to make it southwards, but somehow, they survived the perilous journey. Since that migration, the climate has changed, and there have been fewer marshy areas between the two continents which has restricted their movements and prevented the caiman from migrating back into North America. Although some species can live in salt water, they prefer to live amongst freshwater habitats, so crossing open oceans would be challenging for them. But what's stopping the American crocodiles from migrating down into the Amazon? Crocodiles generally are not tolerant of salt water, at least not for any great length of time. 
However, the saltwater crocodile and the American crocodile are exceptions to this. They thrive in saltwater and brackish waters. The American crocodiles live in coastal areas, mangrove swamps, lagoons, and small islands. This means that it is possible for the American crocodile to cross the open water between the southern U.S. states and make it to Brazil's coast and the Amazon. Saltwater crocodiles are known to migrate huge distances in the open seas. They can travel hundreds of miles by surfing the ocean's currents. This suggests there is potential for the American crocodile to do the same. Furthermore, those that already inhabit Peru, Ecuador, Colombia, and Venezuela need only to venture further inland to make it into the Amazon. There is also the question of competition that can be disputed. The idea that the crocodiles would be outcompeted by caiman, although a potentially valid point, isn't true in other parts of the world. There are places where both caiman and crocodiles coexist. Along the Caribbean coast, for example, both American crocodiles and caiman live side by side. Neither species has outcompeted the other in the region. Additionally, despite the black caiman being a formidable presence in the Amazon, American crocodiles live side by side with alligators in parts of the US, like Florida. So, there must be something else going on that is preventing the American crocodile from inhabiting the Amazon, something other than the competition with the caiman. Just because there aren't any crocodiles living in the Amazon today doesn't mean that there didn't used to be. Scientists have recently discovered that 13 million years ago, the Amazon was swarming with crocodiles, with an unprecedented diversity of them all in the same region. It was a very different place back then before the formation of the Amazon River. It was an ancient mega-wetland ecosystem with a vast array of food on offer for the crocodiles that lived there. Within this wetland, seven different species of crocodilian lived side by side, the greatest number of differing species ever known to coexist. One specialist feeder at the time had a shovel-like mouth and scooped up freshwater clams and other mollusks from the muddy wetland bottom. All of the crocodilian species at the time had adapted to feed on the wetland animals, but when the ecosystem naturally changed and transformed into the rainforest and river we know today, those specialist crocodilians died out. But the caiman that subsequently ventured from North America into the south and began thriving in the Amazon have adapted to the habitat there. And it's this which seems to be the answer to the question. The caiman is simply better adapted to the Amazonian environment. It's more likely to be the Amazonian habitat that is preventing American crocodiles from establishing themselves there. Although the American crocodiles are found in freshwater ecosystems, they prefer salinity, and that is where they thrive. The freshwater of the Amazon may not be a draw for these enormous reptiles. Their preferred habitat offers American crocodiles a mixture of heat, humidity, and salinity, a combination not found in the Amazon or further south into the South American continent. The caiman is so well adapted to the freshwater environments of the Amazon River Basin that it may have developed immunity to some of the crocodilian diseases that would otherwise wipe out any crocodiles trying to live there. The same can be said for the North American white-tailed deer. These deer carry diseases that kill moose and elk. Therefore, moose and elk are pretty much extinct where white-tailed deer thrive. Could it be that disease susceptibility has prevented crocodiles from surviving in the Amazon? Perhaps the few that made it there never survived long enough to breed and establish a population. In the modern world, migrations by entire species are likely to be thwarted by human activity. More obstacles than ever stand in the way of animals and their natural desire to disperse far and wide. It is in the interest of a species to spread itself geographically as far as possible to give it the best chance of surviving climatic changes, disease, predation, and prey fluctuations. But with man-made obstacles such as cities, highways, and shipping lanes, wildlife corridors are now few and far between. For the American crocodile to travel southeast from Venezuela to the Brazilian Amazon, or even make it via Ecuador, where they inhabit the coastlines, they would need to overcome these obstacles. You would be forgiven for thinking that because the closely related caiman thrives in the Amazon, crocodiles would too. But each species has adapted and evolved to survive in its environment, and geographical barriers, whether natural or man-made, also make migrations challenging. 
That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.